why the P naught value, why the E naught value for M1 3 plus M1 2 plus couple is much more positive than for Cr3 plus Cr2 plus Fe2 plus Fe3 plus Fe2 plus. So the answer is simple and quite easy. Listen here. First of all, what is this? It goes from M3 plus to M2 plus, right? M3 plus to M M2 plus state. So let us go for the electronic configuration of these elements. So what are the elements listed? M1, Cr, Fe, right? So M1 means it will be argon 3d5 4s2 and chromium means it is argon 3d5 4s1 and iron it is argon 3d6 4s2 so now, so now it is in m3 plus state m3 plus in the sense it will be 3d 4 and here it will be 3d 3 and here it will be 3d 5 so which states we are they are transferring again m 2 plus right m 2 plus so 3d 4 to 3d 5 right 3d 3 to 3d 4 and here 3d 5 to 3d6 right so let us think about the ease of uh, formation of changeover of these electrons so 3d4 to 3d5 this is most possible why because this state is more stable than this one that is the 3d5 is more stable half filled so that that is more stable than the 3d4 so that it is easy to go so easy to go in the sense what it will be positive e naught band positive e naught band it is easy to go more easy more positive and 3d3 to 3d4 and 3d5 to 3d6 so 3d2 to 3d4 it's not that much of that importance because 3d3 is also unstable, 3d4 is also unstable and 3d5 to 3d6, 3d5 is stable and 3d5 is less, 3d6 is less stable than 3d5. So that this does not show so much interest. So the value will be less positive or uh, more negative than that of the uh, copper value. So that is the reason why these things are uh, less positive or more negative and why copper is more positive than the other things.